Hey everyone, it's Paul Hamilton here from UTV. Gonna look at Spline Mirror app on Vision Pro and see what that looks like. Uh, I'm gonna use my fingers to actually tap on a lot of these items. So there's the Mirror app there. Um, you can use eye tracking, but I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm clicking on just so that you can kind of see a bit of a walkthrough. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Spline, it's basically where you can create great 3D scenes, interactivity. Um, here I'm in a little drag and drop window and you can create this on your Mac um, and your different platforms. And you can see here, basically it's a screen. I can kind of click uh, and grab and drag them around, but it's in a window at the moment. So it's just in this kind of window scene. And what I'm gonna show in a minute is how you can open that if I come down and click on the open in immersive space. And so what this does is says, Paul, be careful of your surroundings because we're going to eliminate your uh, living room here. A little bit messy, I know, but that's okay. And basically now I'm in this full 360 degree kind of immersive space. It's almost like a little box. Here is an imported 3D model, um, which is great. And you can see here there's physics applied. I can flick things and, and throw things around. And the beauty about this, everyone, is spline um, is free to a certain extent and you can create these scenes yourself, get your students to create these scenes and see what they look like in a purely spatial environment, which is super cool. They can bring in 3D scans, they can bring in a lot of different things. If you haven't looked at my Vision Pro using Keynote, have a look at that. It's kind of mind boggling what we can do. Let's have a look at a different scene that I've created just to get that fully immersive experience. I'm gonna click on Spline again, and I'm gonna go into my Space Blobs scene here. So when I click on that, you'll see that it looks pretty average. It's basically, but if I open this in an immersive space, it's gonna give me that warning again. It's gonna transform my whole world into a bit of a space scene. And this is where I've got all these little particles coming up. It's beautiful. There's music in the background that you won't be able to hear because I actually detached that audio and deleted it. But imagine this in the solar system, students playing around with the different planets and the different worlds. I've got these beautiful interactive um, planets or these little circles that are kind of illuminated a little bit, which is super cool and they glow. I can move them all around my 360. I can throw them into space. I've got beautiful spatial audio that it's totally immersing myself in this scene. Um, amazing what we can create with some free web-based software that when we view it in Vision Pro, it just goes next level. Now you're not getting the full feel of this, I know in this YouTube clip, I get that. But trust me when I say that when you view this with a Vision Pro, um, the experience is just totally immersive, the sounds and the sights. But the thing I love and I wanna get through with these video walkthroughs of Vision Pro is that you can create these without code that your students and your teachers and your school faculty can create and then experience in this incredibly immersive way. So we don't need to be experts in coding, we can create, there are third party apps, there are native apps like Keynote, there are third party web-based apps like Spline that your students can really show their creativity, demonstrate knowledge and understanding without needing to actually build a native Vision OS app. Now this is Paul Hamilton here. Um, we do training in this, so if you'd like to get your students creating similar things, we can work with you. Um, but I wanted to give this work through about what Spline looks like because it's incredibly intuitive. You can build in these beautiful hand gestures and interactivities in Spline through simple behaviors, simple events, um, and I can't wait to work with you on some of these projects. Paul Hamilton here from Using Technology Better.